The ocean represents over 70% of the planet and understanding how the ocean is changing under climate change is critically important to understanding how we're going to affect the future of humankind and the planet itself. The ocean's absorbed about 90% of the heat that we've added to the Earth from global warming. We really don't know what's going to happen in the future, and that's the scariest thing. The variability of the temperature and the data we're collecting can tell us about how deeper water's mixing in the surf zone. That's really important to know if we want to understand how climate change is going to affect coastal communities. Tyler is a science advisor for the Smart Fin Project, a citizen science initiative that's working with surfers to help gather data on one of the biggest environmental problems that we face today, global warming. Since the modern industrial revolution, ocean temperatures have risen by almost one degree Celsius. That might not sound like a lot, but that's led to melting Arctic ice, rising sea levels, decimated fish populations, and the destruction of coral reefs in coastal zones. We don't really have a great understanding of how temperature is changing in coastal zones because it's quite difficult to measure via satellite. And the data needed to help evaluate this problem can't be collected from the shore or from deep ocean buoys either. And that is where smart fins come in. We don't have a tremendous amount of coastal wave data from right where the waves are actually breaking. So we can start to fill that gap. The smart fin is equipped with sensors and it fits onto a regular surfboard. Right now, the device measures ocean temperature, motion, and location data, but it's hoped it will eventually collect pH, acidification, salinity, and water quality data as well. Because the coastal zone is teeming with life, the data could be vital to understanding how rising temperatures are affecting sensitive ocean habitats. I think the really cool thing about SmartFin is that it's a citizen science project. It's working with communities to get a better understanding of ocean health. We're not trying to create a Fitbit for the oceans or for surfers. We're trying to create a true research and communication tool. Plus, the 50 surfer scientists who are using the SmartFin to collect data are stoked to be helping save the oceans that they love. And some of the data they've already collected is pretty surprising. I don't think I was expecting to see so much variability in the temperature of, of the surf zone. Inherently, we knew this already being surfers because you're out there and while you're surfing, you can feel warm and cold patches, but to see that it's actually varying by three or four degrees just in a very small amount of space is pretty interesting. What's more, using the fin is just plain simple. Replace your board's fin, turn it on, and paddle out. Then after your surf session, the data is easily uploaded to the cloud. And one thing that its makers want to be clear about, the smart fin will not stop you from catching that perfect wave. Just by being in the water, all a surfer has to do is keep the thing charged and go surf. And they're gonna be out in the water anyway, so why not collect a little data while they're at it? But the project is just so much bigger than catching waves and collecting data. Surfers represent a unique angle to talk about climate change that's not doom and gloomy. And we want to tap into that and sort of come together as a community and discuss why it's important for us to care about the oceans and why climate change is a big deal. We need to add some hope to that conversation and hopefully the surf community can do that. For more science documentaries, check out this one right here. Don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back to Seeker for more videos.